Hi, Dave from Max Intruders, and today we're going to be going over loading and unloading both the revolver and the semi-automatic pistol. We're going to be using snap caps, a Smith & Wesson revolver, and a Glock Model 23. So we're going to start with the revolver here today, and first and foremost we're going to grab the pistol, revolver in this case, and control it with our dominant hand, keep our finger straight off the trigger, following one of the four safety rules. What I'm going to do at this point is find the cylinder release latch, which is here on the left side of the Smith & Wesson revolver, and I'm going to press it forward. That's going to unlock the cylinder. I'm going to take my non-dominant hand, in this case it's my left, and push the cylinder out. At this point I can see if it's loaded or not, in this case I do want it loaded. What I'm going to do then is take my snap caps and just drop them right into the cylinder. While I'm doing this, you may have to spin it a little bit just to get them in there. That's fine. Once you have the cylinder fully loaded up, or as many as you want in there, what you're going to do is simply close it back up until it locks into place. At this case, you can do whatever you need to do, shoot, maybe put in your holster if you're carrying it for the day. And then when I want it unloaded, I'm going to once again press forward on the cylinder release latch, pressing the cylinder out. Now, if you've expended the ammunition, they might not fall out or they still might, or if they're unfired cartridges, they might also fall out of the revolver. So what we can use is use gravity to help us out. In this case, the snap caps are going to fall right out. But if in any case, if you have any shells stuck in there, what you can do is hit what's called the ejector rod and help them out of the cylinder and then pluck whatever still is in there. And that's the revolver. Very simple gun. Very easy to use. Now we're going to move over to the Glock. This is a Model 23, but many semi-automatic pistols this method's going to work. I don't know of any that it doesn't. So once again, we're going to get a nice full grip on the pistol, finger straighten off the trigger, following one of the four safety rules. What I'm going to do then is find the magazine release, and I'm going to hit that, removing the magazine from the pistol grip. The orientation that we want this to be in is the back of the magazine is flat, the back of the cartridge is flat, the front of the magazine is rounded, the front of the cartridge, or in this case the actual bullet, is rounded as well. So what I'm going to do is coming in the top of the magazine, I'm going to push down and straight back, loading the cartridge into the magazine. That's going to be down and then straight back in. What I'm going to do at that point is then take hold of my pistol once again, finger straighten off the trigger until I'm ready to shoot. I'm going to take the magazine and put it into the pistol grip. The method that we like to teach here for loading the semi-automatic is to reach over the top. You're going to pull the slide all the way to the rear and then let it go. That's the key to this, to let it go and I'm going to let the slide go, and then I can get my full grip knowing that the pistol is loaded. One of the reasons why we like to, the slingshot method and to let it go is that there's a big recoil spring in here, and it doesn't need your help in loading the cartridge, so a lot of people try and baby the slide forward or help it forward, and that actually causes a lot of problems. So we just like to pull the slide all the way to the rear and then let it go. At this case, at this time, if I wanted the pistol unloaded, first and foremost, I'm gonna find the magazine release again, and I'm going to remove the magazine. You always remove the source of ammunition first. At this point, what I'm going to do is reach over the top of the slide, pull it all the way back. I can watch the cartridge, cartridge exit the pistol as well as I can visually check inside the chamber to make sure that there's nothing else in there. At that point, you can either let the slide go forward or if you like to leave the slide locked to the back to show other people that it's empty, you can do that too. 